Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Uh, today is a quick video, uh, as far as I go, quick. Um, I had a friend call me, and uh, he ran out of his normal uh, mineral spirits to clean up panel lines, and he asked me what, uh, what he should use. Now, you know, I, I told him uh, I use Zippo, flight, uh, lighter fluid, and there's another brand, a Roncel or Ronson, something like that. And uh, lighter fluid works great. Um, if you're not using odorless mineral spirits, which is great, but uh, I, I told him he didn't have to leave the house just using an eraser, and uh, he had forgotten all about it. I did a video on it, I think three or four years ago, one of my early videos, and um, I got the idea of taking that up another level. Uh, it just stuck in my head for the next day after I had this conversation, and I went ahead and bought an electric eraser. And now, um, you can clean up these panel lines like nothing. Let them dry as long as it is, as long as it takes. Let them harden up. We can take them right off. Now, I used to use an eraser like this and get in, but they're kind of fat and it kind of, it was a little tricky to get in certain spots, but it, it works. You know, it's a great idea. Um, but with this one, I have two different size tips of eraser. We can really get in there and uh, there's not much rubbing as, as far as it goes for uh, working your end. Uh, it spins it does it, it the electric eraser does all the work itself so uh um and i also have uh, a couple other ways of doing this besides the electric but first uh these just came in recently inside and uh display i've had it's a it's a pen a calligraphy pen inkwell pen and it, this is great for putting on uh panel liners uh really really good I, I usually use uh, tiny tiny brushes but uh, lately I've been using these and uh, this is a 100 or a 102 size tip doesn't matter what you use now I will put a link below uh, for these I guess this anti I just got I think I got this on Amazon and um, quality product if you're gonna use it a lot you might as well you know get a nice one it comes in a beautiful case I wasn't really gonna show how to uh, Used put the panel liners on, but um, when this just showed up, literally a couple of days ago, I figured now oh, we'll do it right now. Why not? Look at this. It's it's uh, for some reason they like red. Uh, these companies. Um, let's see. There we go. Yep, and there it is. This one comes in a nice case too. Look at that. I didn't realize it came in that nice case, but there it is. Again, it's a really fine tip. I believe it's a 100 and a, or a 102. That's the size you're looking for. I guess you can. Yep, we can remove it. Get another one, but. This should last forever, unlike a brush, uh, will wear out. This won't. I think this is an octagon shape to keep it from rolling. Yep. So, there we go. Um, so, let's go ahead and show you how I apply using this pen. Now, this is another one. This is a cheapie. I'll put a link for this one below, too. It's your basic handle with an end. You pop her in. Then the uh, point right in there. There it is. Same thing, I think I have one, oh, here it is, I have one behind me here, I use, see that? Same thing, and it's got the, uh, let's see if I can pull this out, yeah. Go lightly with this. Hold on, guys, I gotta get this closer to me to work, there we go. There it is. And there is the, uh, it's a universal holder, holds different sizes, and, uh, you need one that'll hold these smaller sizes, because we're gonna go as fine as we can. The bigger the tip, it holds too much ink and too much panel liner, and, and you end up flooding a lot, whereas uh, these smaller ones, a little more precise. Let me get this one out of the way. Yeah, so I'll put links up for all of these. Um, so let's go ahead. I got a couple of these cut off here. I already have some panel lines on here. I made a mess because we're going to show you how to clean those off. Um, here's my new panel liners uh, available at uh, Gundam Pros. Uh, there's 10 colors, white, Blue, two color blues, yellow, red, black, of course, uh, aluminum. Uh, we got a bunch here. You're gonna shake these up till you can. You can see it right there, the flow. That means all the uh, pigment is off the bottom. Let me unscrew this towards me so we don't get a big spill here. There we go. Okay. Now um, I'm gonna pause the camera. We're gonna tip it. Come in a little bit just to show you uh, the whole method here. So give me one second. Okay, guys, here we go. Forgive me if I hit the camera. I had to do this. This is kind of awkward here. <laughs> I'm not equipped for uh, building kits yet with the way the camera is set up. Uh, we'll be working on that soon. 
But here we go. Here is my green panel liner. You can see it right there. I'm going to dip it right in. You want to come up to where the hole is here, but you're going to tap and get some of it off. See it? You don't need to keep it fully loaded. And uh, what you do is you end up pushing, like you're pushing a pen uh, into your panel lining area. And you can see it flowing already, and it's pretty clean. You find the slot, find the uh, panel line, and just push. You know, I mean, it's hard to see the pushing motion. You can actually pull, if you want, like a pen. And uh, there you go. Look at that. And um, it should hold enough to fill these smaller ones. You know, you just keep dipping. And uh, to clean it off, yeah, acetone or whatever thinning you might have. Uh, and if you have the the uh, mineral spirits, you can use that too. And just use a Q-tip, and this cleans right off. And like I said, it will last forever. Check that out. Hold on. Let me Sorry guys, it's so zoomed in. Look at that. Beautiful work. Look at that. Green looks great. Um, now let's fill it up a little bigger, a little more, I should say, with some ink, uh, ink, with some uh, panel liner here. We're going to fill in this. has a really large panel line here. Let's see. I'm going to need a little more here. There we go. And you need it to touch the edge, to touch the edge of something for it to pull out. You know, I don't want to fill this one in. I'm actually trying to get it around the edge like you see it here. There you go. Now this one also has, nope, this one doesn't have all the lines. Let's go back to this one, show you one more time. And I like, I, I'm trying to make it a mess because I'm going to show you guys in a second how we're going to do that. See the edges here? Now this isn't really a panel line, it's an outline. So we just drag along the edge. There we go. I'm trying to fill it in more. And there it is. And we're going to clean off all this mess in a second. But uh, yeah, what you do is you can actually just get some lighter fluid like I showed you or uh, uh, you know, spirits or even acetone should clean this right off. You're going to just roll that in here. Get a tip the kind that I use for my uh, airbrushes and look at that it fits right in it is clean put it back in storage look at that and, uh, and the panel lining is beautiful clean nice any little bits we have off the edge I'm going to show you how to clean those up now but yeah I do rec oh, let's let's pan this out there we go guys I panned her back out and uh, yeah there you go nice and clean ready to go just put that baby away and uh, make sure you don't get punctured here on the end. These things are pretty sharp. So cap this off like you would an X-Acto blade or a knife there. And there you go. So that is my method without using a brush to apply your panel line liquid. Beautiful, clean, nice. Now, of course, we are going to have a little bit of overrun. Let's get those out of the way. And that's where this comes in. First, let me show you the mess we made here. I did this on purpose. See all the, uh, I went out of the edges, so to speak. I did this on purpose. I blopped it on there because we're going to erase a lot of this with this power eraser. All right. And here is the product. Afmat. What a name. Electric eraser. It's rechargeable with the USB cable. It comes with one. I have one, have one multiple ones here because everything uh, uses USB now, so I keep them always plugged in at a table here whatever kind there is there is one here check this out this is under 20 bucks and uh, a great product if you're going to do some panel lining you do a lot of kits you might as well grab one here is a USB cable this is actually pretty nice once we're done we can brush off the eraser dust and here you go this is the pen itself you charge it here and the light will turn blue while it's charging and uh, you take this cap off. It comes preloaded with the fatter size right there. And check this out, guys. Check this out. It comes with these tiny ones. Now look how many erases this comes with. We'll be doing, you can get a lot done. So this is also an adapter for these tiny ones. So we take that out. If you've got finer areas that you're having trouble getting a little closer to, okay that in there and that also fits in the same truck there and those are two different sizes we're going to be using 
you know I don't even know if I need to show you the tiny one we just want to show you this working overall let's uh, see if this is there it is powered up can you hear it quiet there you go now again you can use the old style eraser like I did but uh, hey why not less work less effort same great results let's get the light down here and uh, let's see if we can adjust this camera once again hold on guys let's see if we can get this adjusted for you that's not too bad I'm trying to do it so I can see it and you guys can see it too all right here is the mess you can see all the mess right here let's go to town let's do this and there we go there is one And we can, I guess I can use the smaller one to get into uh, other areas, right? I'm brushing off with my hand, but uh, we can uh, use the little brush that it came with. Here we go again, over here. You gotta get it nice and flat so it's level with the surface to get it to, oh, there we go, nice and clean. See that? I just took that. See this big nub right here? We'll pull that off right now. Don't be afraid. You can push it down. It doesn't seem to uh, bother the plastic. Now, over paint, I would be careful. I would probably use the old technique over paint, but uh, you can probably buff this right out. Look at that. Let's try it over. Let's try this over the red. Took the red right off for some reason. It likes the red. Let's try uh, this one here. There we go. Look at that. Let's clean this whole piece right up. Because it's flat, it's not going to pull it out of the uh, panel line itself. Look at that. Beautiful done. Look at that piece, huh? Like I said, it comes with a little brush. Clean off our bench, too. Nope. Oh, there we go. So there you go. Um, pretty impressive. I, I, I like it, and it's uh, it's uh, really quiet. There's no real uh, big effort involved here. I haven't tried it over paint, so you guys are going to have to be careful over paint. I still would go with... Uh, I still would go with um, lighter fluid if you're going to put it on top of a coating. Um... But my, these panel liners, as you can see, these I, these have been sitting here for a week. I let them dry. Um, I told the guys who made my panel liners that I would want them to... Uh, try and zoom in a little better for you. Guys. There you go. Let's zoom this out a little bit. I told them I wanted it to be safer uh, to go on top of plastic, and they did. They used a less volatile uh, thinning material when they went in and uh, made them really, really thin, you know, for panel lining. And... Uh, it, so far, it's worked for me. I've tried it over this plastic and uh, all the other uh, tests that they uh, provided. It works fine. So, uh, yeah, you can put this over plastic, no problem. Let me uh, go ahead and show you my other easier, I mean easier, even cheaper method to remove the panel lines. Is this? Oh, it's just dirt. Look at that. So, there you go. I can also, like I said, here's how easy it is to switch. Right, and then you can flip it over. So as many as it, it comes with, like 40 of each one, you can flip it over. It's 80 uses for each one. You just pop it right back in. Now let me show you the uh, other one that's over here. Here it is. Here is the smaller one. I wonder how far out we can let this stick out and see if it still holds it. Ugh. Yeah, it holds it pretty good, but it's a little, little more wilder. So I'm thinking this is good for going sideways like this. Yeah, for sure. It works good that way, too. Let's see if we can get this uh, black dot off here. You can see it right there. Oh, yeah. Oop. Yep. Broke it right off. So that's too far out on the uh, small ones. So we're going to have to go much shorter. But I like the standard eraser that it came already mounted with. That's the way to go, I think. However, you can get pretty precise with this one. Can you see it? Seems to work a little quicker, too, the smaller one. But uh, 
yeah, there you go. And then to switch it, like I said, just like that, and you're good to go. Like I said, you just flip it around, and you're ready. And uh, it comes with a lot of chucks for it, too. See it? There's a couple here. There's a couple there. There's like four of them there for the small ones. And these are all the erasers it comes with. Well worth it if you're going to do a lot of panel lining, for sure. Now, my other cheap method is, before I say goodbye to you guys for now, is eraser pencils. Check this out. Hold on, let me take one of these babies out here. Now, I don't know if this works. This is actually an experiment. I ordered this uh, the other day when I saw it, and I said, ooh, because they, they see that you uh, ordered something, electric erasers, and then, of course, you know how Amazon works. They start to recommend other uh, items with the same title. Yep, this works. This will work. And I think you can sharpen these, too, if I'm not mistaken. So these will last a while, too. And also with this, I guess we can go sideways. Yep, because this is not going to go in the panel line at all. So this also works. So there you go. There's a method for you guys. I mean, I brought this up years ago. But, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff, as time goes by, either people forget or don't see it. And um, that's what happens. So I figured I'd, I'd refresh it, particularly with the release of my panel liners. Um, why not uh, bring this up again as it's uh, now relevant once again. And uh, yeah, there you go. Nice and clean. Beautiful panel lining work. All right. I'll put links to everything below. Let us pan out here. Hold on, guys. Sorry about the banging cameras. There we go. All right. Now when I'm done, I got to clean off my desk. Where's that little vacuum? We'll use the little brush. So there you go. I will put links to everything below. And uh, I hope you guys uh, take this new account and give it a shot. I think using an eraser, even if you go back to the basic eraser, is really a, a great way to uh, clean up your panel lines and, um, and have, have a great looking kit. Nice and clean panel lines. Uh, yeah, that is it for now, guys. Please, please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the uh, notification bell because I'm going to have a lot of videos this week. I might even have one tomorrow. And I might even have one the following day because there's another uh, big sale for an airbrush that I'm going to let you guys know about, but it doesn't start till uh, Monday. So I will have a, a video tomorrow. I think I'm going to do a tools and tips video. Monday, I think we're going to have a video on that sale. And currently behind the scenes, I am working on a, a big paint test. A Sunan 7 paint test is coming, as well as uh, the Cobra car paint test. Um, so if you guys want to see what's happening here in the room... I can just give you guys a quick spin around. I'm getting, I got four of these wooden racks, so they all match, so they're going in those four spots. And I got another acrylic that's coming down below, so I'm going to have to get rid of some of these kits. You can see I keep some kits on display, almost as artwork here, but I'm going to have to move them because there's too much paint <laughs> coming in. Uh, I have a ton of paint coming in, a bunch of Gaia notes. That's why uh, the guy's up there to see if it fit. I have a ton of Gaia coming in, a ton. And I have almost the rest of the lineup of Sunan 7s coming in. Uh, a lot of stuff. So I started cleaning everything up over here so I can get back at all my, my paints, my primers, my thinners, my jar paints. Way up here is my spray paints. I made room over here for more sprays. I got Hobby, Hobby Mio paints are coming in. I got more Jump Winds coming in. Uh, a lot of stuff. We're working on this area now to get all the airbrushes organized. And... Uh, Cleared off this area. I got some of the Ravel cans put up here. And I got to clear off some room here as I got some more paints going there. I got a brand new rack from Artie Station down there. Can you see it? I just built that. And that, that's pretty nice because it holds anything because there's no real holes. They're just little shelves, which is awesome. So I'm going to spin back around here before we can say goodbye. And, uh, yeah, that's the video, guys. That is it for today. A quick little lesson on how to uh, clean up your panel lines without using any form of chemical. And um, I hope you guys uh, take it into account. Now, please, if you consider my Patreon, um, I have a Patreon channel. It's only 4 bucks a month, and it lets you guys ask questions directly of me. I respond back all night. I'm on tweeting back and forth. Not tweeting. Texting back and forth. I take your questions, answers. And if it requires um, you guys want to see something, I will do the video personally for you so you can see the results uh, I got three, I think I got three videos lined up. This just came in this morning, so I pulled these so I remember. Uh, Moto Phantom Red and Blue uh, over certain colors, I guess, is what we're going to test. 
And uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to show him these before he makes a decision on purchasing them. I happen to have the two colors he asked about. So I went ahead and said I'll make that video for you. So that is coming up for him. And that's what the Patreon channel is for. You ask questions. If it requires, you know, for you to actually physically see something, I'll film it and put it up for you on the Patreon channel. And you guys get your own personal video made just for you. And uh, if you just need a an uh, question answered, we do that too. A lot of guys just need the question answered. And we go back and forth that way. So please consider the Patreon. I'll put the link right below this video. And I'll have links for everything else, as I said. And, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Please subscribe. We're trying to get our numbers way up so we can... Uh, probably do this full-time it's the it's the goal we're trying to do this full-time i think you need around a hundred thousand subscribers to really uh get to another tier where you can do this full-time so uh that is the hope right now we're pushing towards eighty thousand, which is uh phenomenal never thought we would get that far but here we are and uh so there you go anyway guys i'll put a link to for my all new panel liners and my neon panel liners i'll put links below to that too they're available exclusively at gundam pros you see the sign back there and um yeah, so uh, give them a shot. I appreciate it. You guys, you are the best, absolutely the best. You guys are so kind, and uh, God bless you all. Have a great rest of your Saturday. We will see you tomorrow with another video, another tools and tips video. I've got a bunch of new products in to show you. And, uh, and then on a Monday, we've got a big sale on an uh, airbrush. Uh, we will show you that. It's no, tense in t no sense in telling you now because the sale doesn't start till Monday. And then the end of the week, there's another sale. So I'll keep you guys ahead of all these great prices and uh, on these awesome products. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Have a good evening. God bless. Take it easy.